Hey guys, welcome back. As you can see, I'm in my protective gear. We're gonna be uh, priming this floor, which as you can see is full of some type of stain, which most likely is a cat. The person who lived here before had about four cats. So there is quite a bit of smell in here. What we're gonna do is uh, use this um, oil-based primer called Kills. It's very popular. Um, it should seal in the smells. I also uh, sprayed some um, bio uh, cleaner on it, which breaks down any um, waste uh, by organic matter purposes. So um, here we go. And we're gonna start sealing the floor. I got my eye protection on, respirator, gloves on, and I have my suit on. Um, this primer is oil-based, so it's somewhat of a hazard. It's also highly flammable, so you wanna keep your uh, windows open and get that cross ventilation going. So you have to take it a little more serious than just latex paint. This stuff has a, quite a smell to it. It's a strong, strong primer, so uh, make sure you have the proper gear on. Let's get started. Okay, another thing we want to do is get these corners. We're gonna to have to use a brush for that. The roller won't get that close. What happens is a lot of times the animals will go against the wall to say do their business and you're gonna get these stains and you want to seal them up. Best way to do it, use a brush. Just get in there nice and thick. You don't know how far it's in there, so just try to go as deep into the, past the drywall as you can. And what we'll do is we'll come back, come back with the uh, roller, go right over it, so we make sure we get full coverage. Floor is all sealed up. Paint takes about a half hour to dry to the touch, and about an hour before you really want to walk on it or recoat it, which we don't need to do in this case. You can see one spot where it sort of bubbled up. I'm gonna probably have to scrape that down and put some wood filler in there before I lay down my laminate flooring. But overall, it came out real good. Um, it definitely sealed it up and it definitely smells a lot. So make sure you leave a window open for that cross ventilation for at least two hours. Otherwise, your house is gonna really smell like a chemical smell. So you just have to be patient. The smell is gonna dissipate over time. Last tip on this uh, primer, you wanna be real careful with it. It's oil-based. I am actually putting my goods outside, sorry, because these are actually flammable. If you leave them inside, especially in a trash can, they could have an issue where they could self ignite and then you're gonna have a fire in your house. It's even recommended on the can to uh, soak the rags in water if you're gonna be putting them inside. In this case, I'm leaving them outside on some plain dirt. So even if they do light up, it's not gonna be an issue. But again, be very careful about that. And the other thing is cleaning them is real hard. You have to use mineral spirits in this case.